Yo, what's going on, man? We got another video today coming from Law and Crime. And the title of the video is Mary Gym Teacher Allegedly Had Intercourse uh, with Student in Car and Took a Morning After Pill. Yo, these teachers nowadays is so crazy the thing is is that a lot of the times we hear about the women teachers you know of course you know of course it goes both ways but man i could tell you man between the last probably like two three years or so i mean it's just been female teacher after female teacher after female teacher like it's been a lot of female teachers that have been doing this stuff you know what i mean and it's just uh it's just insane bruh it's just insane okay so um, let's see how this uh, interacts. And, you know, it's a lot of times it's the young ones, too. You know what I mean? It's like young 20s, maybe early 30s. Oh, she, hey, she, she look all right. You know what I'm saying? Got the sitting up nice. You know what I mean? So let's see, you know, but uh, yeah, let's let's get into the video, man. I don't want to hold you guys too long. I know you're enjoying the video. I'm sorry that I had to interrupt, but I just wanted to tell you that we now have members only content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification and make sure you hit right here. Join, right? We have supporter gives you certain perks as far as emojis, badges and stuff like that. Then we have early access, which is you have early access to the videos that will be coming up on the channel, plus whatever comes in the supporter package. And then you have VIP, which you get everything in the supporter package and in early access, but alongside members only live streams. You can join me on the live stream if you want. And we have exclusive, and I mean exclusive, members only videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you join the members only. In cases we've seen far too often, even across the globe, a married teacher is arrested for allegedly sexually assaulting a teen student and sending sexual videos of herself to the boy over social media. You usually see teachers who are in their 20s and 30s um, and it's not unusual for them to be married, um, to have other connections to the community and yet they cross- What I say, 20s, young 30s, I told you. These boundaries with their students. For this case, we go down under to Australia, where 30-year-old Taylor Braley was arrested for the disturbing crime. According to police, a 17-year-old boy added Braley on Snapchat in early June. Initially, the two began having conversations that allegedly turned sexual in nature. And very often, social media is involved because it acts uh, as a medium for grooming. Uh, where the perpetrator essentially crosses boundaries with their students. It can sound very innocent in the beginning, just hello, follow me on chat, Snapchat, or can I follow you? Uh, maybe commenting on some pictures that the person has posted, and then all of a sudden can slide into, you know, sexually suggestive communication, or in this case, it was even pic- Yeah, but my thing is this, right? So if the student added her on Snapchat, how did he even get her snapchat like that's the piece that we're kind of missing here because with snapchat i mean yeah it is random people that you can follow and stuff like that but i'm sure either you know he had maybe a number and was able to link it or she gave him like her username like how did he get her snapchat to even add her you know that's the part that we're kind of missing there is apparently graphic videos of herself that she was sending to him and that's really grooming you know sexualizing the minor um and then actually converting that into a real world uh meeting braley allegedly sent the teen photos and videos of herself performing a naked sexual act and the 17 year old student sent photos and videos of himself to her braley allegedly told the boy not to tell anyone about their chats and that she would get in trouble if their communications with one another were revealed According to a report by the Sydney Morning Herald, police say around mid-July, the student and a friend went over to Braley's house. Once there, the teen and Braley began kissing before moving to an upstairs spare bedroom where they allegedly engaged in a sexual act. The student's friend allegedly walked into the room while this was taking place, then walked out. The next assault allegedly took place while Braley was on duty at the high school on July 26th. 
Police say Braley told the student she had free time for an hour and they left school together, but in their own cars. Police claim they both stopped at a... So in their own cars. So this is an older teen. This is probably... He's at least 16, you know, but I'm probably thinking he's maybe a junior, senior. So probably 17, 18, which is wow. You know, and then you got the friend coming over and stuff. Like, what do you think? Do you, do you really think this isn't going to get out? You know, they always say when you doing a crime or whatever, right? You want to do it by yourself or whatever. This, the boy brought his friend with him and the teacher's still going to act like that. That's crazy. That that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like these people don't got no common sense. Like, of course, first of all, it's wrong in the first place. You know, these teachers, they off the hook, but you still, you inviting outside people into what y'all got going on by having a friend over there. So of course it's only a matter of time that it's going to get out. At location. Braley exited her car and entered the students, where she allegedly sexually abused him in the backseat of his car. Braley then reportedly went to a pharmacy to buy emergency contraception. Psychiatrist Dr. Zeev Cohen explains he believes the cases of young women abusing their students are increasing, and most abusers know what they're doing is wrong. I think that that's also very typical. So usually abusers in this situation, they, they clearly know what they're doing is illegal. Sometimes they do rationalize it to convince themselves that it's not morally wrong, but they almost always, I mean, in every case that I've seen, they do understand that their behavior is actually illegal. And, you know, if you're a teacher, it's hard to be a teacher without understanding over the course of your training and your education and your job that there are boundaries that you're not supposed to cross with your students. So I think if she, you know, were ever to make the argument that she didn't know what she was doing is wrong, I think that that would be laughable. I do think that we are we are realizing, I think it's becoming more and more clear that we need to have more teacher education <clears throat> on this, teacher trainings um, about, uh, you know, raising awareness for teachers. I think that, you know, my perspective has always been uh, as someone who does teacher evaluations, uh, fitness for duty evaluations for teachers um, in the New York area. Um, and I've evaluated many teenagers, uh, sorry, many teachers with all sorts of problems, uh, ranging from, you know, drug addiction to, uh, sexual behavior disorders to a range of issues, uh, mental health problems, you know, depression, anxiety. After the assault, the two stopped talking until Braley reached out to the student asking if he had told anyone about what happened between them, which he reportedly denied. But Braley reportedly told the 17 year old she heard that he told people and said she couldn't speak anymore before blocking him on Snapchat. Then authority stepped in. Wow. So he's 17. He's 17. Wow. See, that's why I knew. I'm like, OK, he got a car, so it's got to be 16. But I would think it would be a little bit older, like. So 17, 18, the guy is 18 or 17. Yeah, man, these teachers, they're off the hook, man. And, and a lot of times they say, yeah, we need more training and this and that or whatever. Listen, you could do all the training you want. You know, uh, every time in the corporate world, you have um, trainings on, you know, workplace harassment and, and all this different type of stuff. And it really doesn't matter that much because... At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. Like, and that's that's just the bottom line. They're going to do what they're going to do. And no amount of training and stuff like that is going to is going to fix it. You know, there's going to be leaks in the cracks. These people are grown adults. They know what they're doing. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think they don't know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And like he said, a lot of times they know that they're wrong. So a training isn't going to fix that. All that's going to do is give somebody an extra day off. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got training today. Talk about not messing with your students. You know what I'm saying? Crossing boundaries with the students. All they going to do, that's a free day, half a day. Like, come on. High school in response to reports, Braley had been grooming other students at the school and was sending naked photos and videos as officers reportedly spoke to two students about the troubling allegations. 
Shortly after, police spoke to Braley herself in a classroom where she allegedly became hysterical and said, I'm going to jail, aren't I? I'm going to lose my family, my husband, my job. I also think that it's typical. I mean, some of the research looking into this has suggested that female abusers tend to have one victim uh, that they actually have sexual contact with, at least. Um, as opposed to male abusers may be more serial offenders and that female abusers may become more attached to the victim. And we've seen cases where that relationship persists, you know, they'll remain in contact even in defiance of court orders. And then the, the victim will sort of age out of being a minor. And now the couple, you know, the now couple will embark on an adult, you know, legal relationship even in the future. So we've seen that pattern, but I think that especially when you're using social media, it, it, I would imagine that it's likely that there have been bound boundary crossings and questionable behavior with other students, maybe not as extreme as what happened with the, with the eventual victim, um, but that wouldn't surprise me at all. Right. I mean, I mean, it shows that this behavior is destructive for the victim, but of course also for the perpetrator, but it can seem very irrational. You know, you have someone who's successful, you know, she's married, she's got a good job. Uh, but apparently there were pictures on social media of her going on vacation with her friends. Uh, this is someone who seems to have a life and why would you blow up your life? You know, is it really worth it uh, to do this? Um, and so I think it, it points to the to the irrationality of this behavior. During a recorded police interview with Braley, she allegedly admitted to speaking with three students on social media, which police say all of those communications were sexual in nature. And she discussed sexual acts as well as shared intimate photos and videos. The married teacher admitted to one of those students coming into one of the classrooms and kissing her. However, she is. Yo, she is wild. She is a wild, loose cannon, loose cannon. Like, and I feel bad for the husband, bro. Like, it's always like the, the significant other that I be like, damn, son. Like, your, your wife is embarrassing you like this. Like, this is going to be humiliation, like on the next level. Like, your wife, right? A woman that you wifed up is a predator you understand like that is that's insane that's insane like you don't care about your, the family at all like they they're just selfish they want to attack kids like this is kids okay like come on man come on this is just this is just crazy bruh and then there was supposed to be more of them so she was chatting with three of them come on like yo these teachers is wild been charged in connection to the other two students. But she allegedly made more detailed admissions to authorities about sexual intercourse with the 17-year-old student in his car. When authorities spoke with a 17-year-old boy, he described feeling like he had to send the photos and videos of himself to keep Braley happy. The student's phone allegedly revealed several hidden videos showing he and Braley performing sexual acts over FaceTime video calls. Well, look, I, I think that with a, a sexual abuse, um, it really is all about the abuser, right? The abuser is making a decision that their needs are what need to be satisfied. And they're really just using the child as a tool to satisfy their own needs. And so they might rationalize to themselves that it's mutual or consenting, but really they're in a position of authority and they have much more knowledge and experience and they're manipulating this young person. Um, so I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think that even if this young man um, uh, you know, perhaps had some excitement, you know, was, uh, turned on initially by, by what was going on. I think it very quickly slides into probably something that's scary for the victim feels out of control. He, he probably was scared himself that he could get in trouble. Um, and, and, and so that's really a situation of abuse and that's something that can become certainly very traumatic for, for the victim. Authorities arrested Braley and charged her with sexual intercourse with a child under her authority, sexually touching a child under her authority, and aggravated sexual assault of a child under her authority. Braley's attorneys argued in court Braley had no prior criminal record and had strong community ties with her parents and her husband supporting her in court. Her attorney argued for Braley to be released from custody and live under house arrest with her parents. A strict bail condition what a goofy what the husband is supporting her oh my god he, he goofy bruh he goofy man where's the divorce like i'll be divorcing getting a lawyer like yo you gotta go
You got to go. I'm not supporting that. You're a weirdo and you embarrassing the family name. You got my last name and you got me attached to this. Nah, you got to go, sweetheart. Nah. Yeah, go find somebody else, man. I, yeah, I'll be gone, boy. For Braley was set and included that she report to police three times a week, surrender her passport, abide by a curfew, not go near the school. She's required not to be on social media and she must stay at her parents' house and only leave home if accompanied by one of her parents. I think that uh, in these types of situations, the female abusers are usually released on bail. Um, and I think that we do need to scrutinize a little bit what their rates of recidivism and reoffending are during that bail period. In other words, what are their um, rates of violation of bail violations? Because again, we have seen situations where these relationships persist and the person continues to offend, you know, even in the face of sanctions from the court. Um, uh, so, you know, it has to be decided on a case by case basis, but I think we do have to be vigilant and not assume that just because she's a young woman and she appears harmless that she's not going to engage in this behavior. Dr. Cohen suggests while these cases seemingly are on the rise, he urges parents to have those difficult conversations with their children. I think that um, t teaching is a noble profession, right? And teachers in general do not go into education intending to abuse anyone. Um, there are certainly predators out there that find their way into settings where they have access to kids. But I think that in a lot of these cases, we have women who have various risk factors for getting involved in this behavior, and they might not be fully aware of that. And so I think that having a lot more training and education um, with teachers around these issues is going to be really, really important to reduce the frequency of these incidents in the future. And I also think that parents need to be educated more about the risk to their kids, their boys and their girls um, in school. It's very hard to monitor social media of your children, of your teenage kids. Um, but I think trying to be very involved with your kids, understand who they're communicating with online um, is going to be really important to prevent this from happening in the future. And we've talked in previous podcasts about you know, that this is not a victimless crime. Taylor Braley is reportedly scheduled to appear in court again on October 2nd. In a statement, a Department of Education spokesperson confirmed she had been suspended from her job without pay. Yeah, the thing is with these teachers, I mean, when you have young 20s, you know, when you got 20s and 30s and young 30s, I mean, they really have to be careful with teaching high school students. You know what I'm saying? If 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 you can't control yourself and you're attracted to you know, a 17, 18 year old, you know, cause what seniors, they turn 18, you know? So in 17 they're you know, but if you can't control yourself, then you need to stay with the younger kids, like the kindergartners and stuff like that. Like, you know, like stay with the, the elementary kids because it really takes a, a, a different type of mind you got to be serious on your job your business you know what i mean these these young girls that are taking these teaching jobs and going straight to high school you know i mean they're not that far in age now 30 is a little bit different but a lot of these cases you see like 25 26 you know what i'm saying like you know and they're not that far removed from high school themselves so I could see, you know, what it is, you know what I mean? But if if you can't control it or if you feel like you're getting the urge or whatever, you got to let somebody know, you know what I'm saying? And and go down a couple of grades. Like, you're going to have to go down, you know what I'm saying? So, huh, another story, another crazy story, man. These teachers, wow. Watch when I get in the mood. No time for the fakes when you see me, I see you, no FaceTime. Shoot my shot, green beam. 2K shit that get a nigga lean.